Hello, everyone. Hello, we're back. Cheshire Cat. Hello, buddy. My character does not want to move now. What is going on? Nope, still does not want to move. There we go. I can activate everybody, but I can everything, but I can move. Also. I hear something. Footsteps from far away. I don't hear anything. Colette still has her angel senses. They're definitely footsteps. Also, the sound of clinking armor. There are lots of them. It's coming from that direction. That can't be good. Altessa lives over there. Could it be more of the same guys from earlier? I'll send Corinne out to scout. That's the guy from the Mel Tokyo sewer. Man, it's just one thing after another with the Pope. Am I really that much of a problem to him? I do not wish to fight you. I just want to speak with that girl. With Prisea? You've got to be kidding. Or did you forget that you tried to kill us? I cannot speak for any others. However, I, at least, never intended to take your lives. My orders were to retrieve a girl named Colette. Me? I will do you no harm. Prisea is her name, correct? Please. Let me speak with her. An X-Sphere? You are yet another victim? Prisea's in danger! I don't know what the heck is going on, but we have to stop this guy! Oh no. We have no choice but to fight. What, we don't? Oh, no. Speed no, kick! Barrier. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Bay! Heavy Speed kick! kick. I love the fifth fighting style. No way. I don't know what they're doing. Oh right, I never replenished my life bottles. Oops. Sorry, Got him. You picked the wrong guy to mess with. The wrong guy. We did it, team. He sounds like he has reasons for his actions. Perhaps we should take him prisoner? I'm sure he has much to tell us. I mean... Sheena! There were a lot of soldiers and they're all coming this way! Run away, quickly! Looks like Colette was right! The footsteps... keep getting louder. Uh, shouldn't we get out of here? But the Papal Knights are waiting for us if we go back. It looks like we have no choice. I'll take you to the village of Mizuho. Whoa there, Sheena. Isn't Mizuho a hidden village kept secret from outsiders? But we'll be trapped from both sides if we don't do something. There's nothing we can do but take shelter in the village. Okay. Please show us the way, Sheena. He's zealous. Carry the big guy for us. 
Me? You want me to carry this ogre by myself? Are you kidding me? Here, I'll help. Zelos will have a hard time by himself. Aw, you're so nice, Colette. We Chosens have to look out for each other, right? Yeah. Oh, he's lighter than I thought. I can carry him myself. Huh, I see. Men are so useless these days. Come on, we need to go. Collapse with one fucking arm picks him up. Mizuho, Kingdom of Gold. I wonder what Mizuho is like. According to what I've heard, the buildings are made out of gold. Wow, it must be really bright and hard to see. Yeah, I bet it is. I also heard that men are called samurai and women are called geisha. Then she is a geisha too. And me, and the professor too. No, no, I heard that the girls are called maiko. I see, so I'm a Maiko. So Genus and I are Samurai. <laughs> this is kind of fun. What's fun about that? Where in Garacha Forest is this Mizuho village? I can't tell you that. We'll be there soon anyway, so just be patient. I see you Mizuho people are as secret as, as ever. It's to protect our unique culture. If you don't like it, you can wait in the forest. You gotta be kidding, I'll pass on being left behind in the forest of death. The odds of surviving alone in Garashia Forest, 25%. Ouch, don't say stuff like that for say, uh... You'll be fine, you look like the, like the type that just won't die. I'll second that. What? You know what they say? The pretty boys die young. Incorrect use is detected. Correction necessary. Perseya! Okay. Hey look, here it is. The mystical village, Mizuho. Everything is fun when you are sufficiently stupid. Sheena, what is the meaning of this? How could you bring outsiders into the village? I am prepared to accept my punishment. Inform the vice chief. I've brought the travelers from Silverant. From Silverant? You are from the dying world of Silverant? Well, except for me. I see. Sheena, come with me. The rest of you, wait in front of the chief's house. Okay, which one's the chief's house? Oh, he's awake. Wh where am I? Yes. You're our prisoner. Don't try anything funny. I like to think that I'm smart enough not to start trouble when I don't understand the situation. Can't believe she's brought outsiders to Mizuho. She is always bringing danger to this village. I hear the rig. Just for that, I'm just gonna go and rob you. <laughs> My son is helping me. Guess what? Guess what? I'm helping mommy. Nobody gives a fuck. I frequently set trouble without set understanding the situation. Exactly. Working in the fields acts as part of our training. Filling a field with a hoe takes a lot of strength and energy. If you consider everything to be training, then anything can be training can become training. I was placing offerings before Jizo. Do you know Jizo? I like how th this world has Jizo statues too. During the entire time that I worked as an intelligence agent, I never saw any sign of aging in that small child in your group. 
It's likely another result of the experiments. You already knew that Perseo was being experimented on? Even until recently, Mizuho... We didn't know until recently. Mizuho was amazing. <laughs> Don't underestimate our ability. But you're saying she hasn't aged. How can that be? Damn, how old is she? Also, why is this a child talking, telling me this? It's more of a normal little as you expected, isn't it? I don't think I've ever sent anyone on a cat's expedition because I never have the gall to do it. Welcome to the variety shop, Toyama. We also offer customization services. Reduces water elemental damage. Okay, that's okay. Raises wears accuracy. Okay. I actually don't know which of these I need. I assume this one here because I don't. But Sheena's not in my party right now, so. Alright, so we can actually make this, so I'm going to. Um, I don't have the stuff to make this, but I don't really need to either. That's worse. What he's using. That's better, but we don't have a black silver anymore. Giant fly landed, so I had to eliminate it. Okay, so <clears throat> we made this. <clears throat> a blade treasured by the no a noble family of the same name. We can buy this. A special area weapon from the east. I'm thinking we need the card of wind. Replenish my life bottles. Recently, information from Mizuho is leaking out. It seems to have started when Shina began visiting the elemental research lab during the Tokyo. The voice chief. Oh, okay. Travelers from Silverant, you may enter. Thank you. Our leader, Chief Igaguri, is ill. I, the Vice Chief, Taiga, shall speak on his behalf. Because Sheena failed to kill you, we, the people of Mizuho, now face persecution from the Tetheala royal family and the Church of Martel. Is that true? Yes, at least from what I've heard. Now I have a question. People of Silverant, what do you plan to do in Tetheala, the land of your enemies? I've been thinking about that for a long time. Someone asked me why I came all the way to Tetheala, what it is that I want to do. I want a world where everyone can have a normal life. I'm tired of people having to become sacrifices. I'm tired of discrimination. I'm tired of people becoming victims. I'm tired of it all. You are an idealist. 
The worlds of Tethayala and Silveron flourish only by victimizing the other. So long as that structure remains the same, anything you say is mere sophistry. Then we need to change that structure. This world was made by that Yggdrasil guy, right? If a human or elf built this, then we should be able to change it as well. <laughs> you speak like the hero, Mythos. He was a sublime idealist. He ended the ancient war by insisting there was a way for the two warring countries to coexist in peace. Are you saying you can become the next Mythos? I'm not Mythos. I want to save the two worlds my way with the help of my friends. I see. In other words, you aren't worried about following past methods. Well then, we shall search for a new path as well. Vice Chief, do you mean... Yes, we will use our information network to aid you. Perfect. In return, when the path of prosperity for both worlds has been found, we wish to move our people to Silverant. But... I don't have any right to decide something like that. All we need is for you to aid us in our move. Is everyone okay with us joining forces with the people of Mizuho? If it will change the relationship of the two worlds. Well, it doesn't sound like a bad deal. Let's hurry up and decide so we can go rescue Prisea. As long as Tetheala is safe, I don't care what you guys do. So... Lloyd's outfit. Not Lloyd. Zealous's outfit doesn't really like fit. Something seems off with it. Okay then, it's settled. We're going to look for a way to change the two worlds. Let's work together. Agreed. Then I hereby order Sheena to continue to accompany you. This time, however, not just as an observer, but as a representative. Make us proud. Yes, sir. But Taiga, you sure you want to turn the royals and the church against you like that? How about if I ask you, given a choice between the forces which wish to sacrifice one of the worlds and the force that wishes to preserve both worlds, which would you side with? I'd like to say the one that's likely to win, but I suppose I'd want to help the side that wants to preserve both worlds. I can appreciate that Zealous exactly. is honest. Now the first thing we shall do is devote all our resources to locating the Riards. Fortunately, it appears that Sheena attached a guardian to the Riards, so we should be able to locate them shortly. Understood. Thank you for your help. Is he for real? Lloyd pinned the title Gentle Idealist. What's your name? Regal. Regal, huh? I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to keep you prisoner for a bit longer. Lloyd, how about letting Pops here fight too? Even though he might betray us? Well, he has business with Prisea, right? And he's not gonna try anything before he gets a chance to speak with her, you know? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Rain? I don't know about this, but I won't make a fuss. I also started off as your enemy. Well? Will you fight alongside us for now? All right. I swear upon my good name and these shackles that bind me. I shall not betray you. If you do anything, even the slightest bit suspicious, I'll burn you to a crisp. Got it? Well then, welcome to our group, Regal. <laughs> I'll burn you to a crisp. Welcome. Right, so. This weapon is quite a bit better than the one we're using. I like it. It doesn't look as cool as the, uh, the Katatsu, though. Another 60 for her. Aha, the Carter Wind was better. Do you have anything for... By the way, this is our full party now. 
so that's good. We came a point at half, but we don't have the stuff for it. Oh, the assault dagger was better, but we don't have the black silver. Okay. Needs a hose information network. I hope they can find the weirds. Mizuho's intelligence network is nothing to sneeze at. They'll find them, for sure. Yeah, I've heard some incredible stuff about the Mizuho intelligence network. Supposedly, they know the location of all the treasures in Tetaola. You bet. When we can't really want to, there's nothing we can't find out. Sounds like a great thing to have on our side. <sighs> I wonder if they could research the measurements of all the girls in Tetaola for me. You stupid chosen! Fuck, sell us why? Why you gotta go ruin it like that? It seems the pursuers have left the forest. You should hurry. Alright, let's head to Feral Pesta's place right away. I want to go home to my village. Oh, right, oh, that first then? Yes, Pesea's parents are probably worried about it. We should head to Ozette. First off, there was no place to rest there, so... If there was, I completely missed it. I'm gonna go back in there and see if there's like an inn or something, because we have no HP. Or TP, sorry. MP? What the fuck is it? TP. You let me sleep here. I don't care if your son's helping you, just let me sleep. Sleep in your house. I'm actually a little happy that there is no inn here in a way too. Oh. I am the mysterious gourmet, the Wonder Chef. I shall teach you the greatest recipe of Mizuho's 4,000 year history. Ramen. Ramen requires three ingredients, pinion, sa black sate, and seaweed. Farewell! Oh good, he lets me rest here. But anyway, it's actually refreshing to see a village, a secret village in the middle of nowhere, that has like... A shop, I guess, with like just like a convenience store, so to speak, and a customization spot, but otherwise, no real shops. Your name is Pasea, correct? About your family. Get away from her! Or hey! Get away from her! I apologize. So, you're her little knight. Don't make fun of me! I've got magic, you hear me? Genus. What is it? Don't worry, I'll protect you. He bears no hostility. There is no need for combat. Ah, oh. Also, I have no need for your protection. Oh. Ha! Owned. Back. Had to get the front door? Awesome. Well, welcome back. We, I was just saying how it's refreshing to have a village that actually is secret, and it doesn't have an inn. Or really any shop. This are fighting these. This is gonna be a- <laughs> oh, Okay, my attack card really went up. Oh, this is sick looking. They got like lightning bolts going down them. That's it. Bit too much? Jeremy, was that a bit too much? The quiescent village? Was that? Lloyd! Huh? Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, it's entirely too much. This is the village of a vet. Weren't you all with Paseya just now? Are you related to that cursed child? Trust me, you best not get involved with her. Did you come to buy armor? Just so you know, I won't sell to any half-elves. You're a kid, I don't give a shit who you'd sell to. Also, why are you racist as a child? Oh, damn it, so many upgrades! Colette's in our party right now. Do I want to fight Alpha on a battle of shits? Yes. Reasons for the shackles. Say, Regal, why do you keep those handcuffs on? These are a symbol of my crime. A crime symbolized by handcuffs? I know, you're a handcuff thief. Oh, that's not it? Hmm. Then you ran around causing people by putting handcuffs- trouble by putting handcuffs on people? I'm sorry, I suppose I should have said it in a way that it was easier to understand. No, Lloyd's just a bit of an idiot. I wouldn't worry too much about that. half elves are, are an accursed girl. Why are people like, like that all the way out here? It defeats the purpose of living quietly out in the country. Man, the discrimination against half-elves in this village is intense. Of course, I don't like half-elves either. But when it's this bad, even I start to feel sick. It's true. I, I, I have not met anybody who hasn't hated on half-elves yet. Welcome to Nature's Kitchen, where half-elves come to die. Excuse me? Alright, I gotta, once we get Perseia back in the party, I gotta see how much money I make outside, because I actually am at a point where I should upgrade my character's gear a little bit. Lozette's craft work is famous, although lately we've been getting fewer customers. South here lives a dwarf named Maltessa. I once asked him if he would make me something, but he was really curt. It's a really, really a shame. We, uh, we excommunicated uh, Alpessa because he, he wanted us to stop hating half-elves. Where'd you all come from? I've never left the village. What? A dwarf? You mean the bearded man? If you look for the bearded man, he lives to the south of here. Go south. Hi, you travelers as well? I've been traveling too and came all the way out to this village. It seems that this village is the birthplace of the Pope. The Pope? Nope. What's I say to that? Thank you. Hmm? Are these guests as well? Porters. Oh, I see. Prisea, we have to make a key crest for you. My job awaits. Goodbye. Only Prisea can retrieve the sacred wood used in the ritual at the church. I'm quite pleased that she has finally returned. That man, he's a half-elf. He is? Now that you mention it, didn't we see him in Mel Tokyo too? He's creepy. I agree, but uh, I gotta say that I feel sorry for the guy. I mean, he has to deal with the fact that there are magnificent specimens of males around like me. <laughs> I'd say you two are on the same level. I heard that, you little twerp. At any rate, we should have a talk with Persea. Yeah. <sighs> the 
smell. Look! Oh my... How horrible. What the... This is not cool. How could this happen? Most likely the effect of x parasitism. Prisea has no idea what's become of the person in that bed. How could that... Prisea, are you not coming with us? I must do my job. Let's leave Prisea here for now. Here? If we try to move her, she will just fight back. Let's go see Altessa by ourselves to ask him about repairing the Keycrest. Yeah. Yeah. That weird guest of Prisea's. He was in Mel Tokyo too, wasn't he? Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. We also saw him on Silverant. I can sense the smell of blood on him. Let's hurry to Altessa's place. It's dangerous to leave Prisea with that man. Jeremy, do you ever worry that people think that you have too many carving tools? Assembled. <laughs> I'm clumsy. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Alright, I just want to see how much money I get. Oh, this house is like literally right there. Money, money, yeah, yeah. Let's get this over. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a variety. The enemy variety in this game is insane. Are you okay? I was just warming up. I'm terrible. Children, we must kill the planet for this transgression. Let's see this dude. I'll save our game before we do that, actually. It is break time, so we're gonna take a break first, and then we'll go see Altessa. Alright. Alright, give me a sec, guys. We'll be right back with more Tales of. <laughs> 